In this video, I'm going to share with you my second Excel VBA game. This is actually based on the popular Netflix series Squid Game, Red Light, Green Light. If you want to learn how I developed this game, just stick around and watch until the very end of this video. One of the most unforgettable games from Squid Game, probably the deadliest one, is the red light green line. There's a giant artificial intelligence robotic doll that controls the game. It has some movement sensors that once you get caught by this, you will surely be eliminated. Similarly on this VBA game, the process of getting survived or eliminated will be depend on the selection that you have made, whether if you choose red or green button. To give you more clarity on this, let's go straight now to the spreadsheet. In this file, I've used uh, two worksheets, Squid Game and Ref. Let's first discuss what we have for the Squid Game worksheet. Here you can see two buttons, New Game and Instructions. Let's try to click Instructions first. This form only provides us information about the instructions and the total number of players that we have in the game, which is 100. When you click New Game, you need to select your preferred level, whether it's Easy, Medium, and Hard. When you click it, you will notice that the level on the top is also changing. Then you can press OK. After this, another form will be showed up. This time, you will have an option to reposition your players. Or simply click close when you are okay with the player's positions. Then this is it. You have to select red or green color. I'll show you later how it works. This time, let's play it first until we see some players being eliminated. You may probably notice that the doll itself turns around as well as the red light shows up. On this side, you will also see the red guard shooting some players. It says earlier that uh, there are some players eliminated. Watch carefully those players that have stepped in to red cells. Let's continue playing to see these changes. Now we have another players uh, being eliminated. Okay, so uh, let's stop for a while and go back to the spreadsheet so that I can show you how it's made. Let me unprotect the sheet first. 
Whenever you select red or green light, it automatically assigns number to it in cell A1. If you select green, then it will assign number 1, while 2 if it is red. Let's go to the user form to better see it. A number also assigns in SL A2 and that is 10, 6, and 3 that represents easy level, medium level, and hard level respectively. Remember that earlier we select the level of this game. Let's go now to the user form once again. Allow me to change the format of this range first to general so that you will be able to see the value more clearly. The value in this range is also auto sign, depends on the level that you have selected. Uh, if we're gonna go back to our module, this macro randomly assigns number from cell A15 to AT75, setting the range from 1 to the value of what is assigned in cell A2. So technically, if you select hard level, random numbers will be auto-assigned in the range from 1 to 3. Then let's try to run assign number uh, macro. This module position players allows us to reposition our players. These lines uh, make our doll look like it's facing front and backwards. Technically, we're just trying to make one of the two visible while the other is hidden. Then call background color to return to the original cell color index. Earlier in this game, we click new game. This calls uh, several macros and forms in sequence just like this. Let's proceed now in the ref worksheet. Here you can see our player status. At the start of the game, you will see this all as status 1, which means they are all active players. Once eliminated, this will be changed to 0. Then the value will change to 2 if it reaches 2 pixel from the top. This means that the player reaches the finish line uh, which also means that they are now safe. Let's go back again to the module to see the script. This move players is looking at the player status in ref worksheet. This loop looks uh, at the value of 1 and greater than 250 pixels from the top which means players are still playing, not reaching the end line. Once these criteria are met, then player will move straight or diagonally towards the finish line. And finally, we have this timeout subroutine to put some delays when our objects are moving. We also have the subroutine eliminated players that will assign status to our eliminated players. As you can see from here, uh, we have assigned color index into 3 to inform us that the player has stepped into the wrong cell, which also signifies by a red color. It also assigns 0 to the value automatically. Um, this subroutine simply transfers our players to a specific location when they are eliminated from the game. Same goes with the saved players. It automatically moves to a specific location and assign a value of 2.
let's revisit again our user forms that we have used in this game uh, you can see that we have a total of six forms And lastly, let's go to this workbook. This code hides our ribbon tab when we open the file. Then call the user form welcome and subroutine new game. Now that we understand everything, how it works, then we can finally play. Enjoy guys and have fun.